In this video, we're going to look at how we can set up an experiment to calculate G using a single light gate and a double interrupt card. The principles behind the experiment are the same as using two light gates and a single interrupt card. The computer times how long the beam is broken for and, as part of the setup, the width of the interrupt card is known, the computer calculates the velocity. It will also time how long it takes for the second part of the interrupt card to reach the beam and then calculates the second velocity. From these two velocities and the time it's taken to change between them, the acceleration can be worked out. So let's take a look at how we set this up. First of all, you'll need to connect your light gate to the interface and put it into input A, and then you'll take your USB lead and plug that into the computer and the interface where it says computer. Now on to looking at how we set up the software. So we we'll open the software and we click on timing. Then we need to tell it that we're doing an acceleration. Click on next. It by default will already have it as at A, so we can just go straight to next. Then again, by default, we've got the double interrupt card. And here we now have to tell it the measurements of the double interrupt card. And I'm just going to adjust the number of decimal places that I'm going to see. Because my interrupt card is to two significant figures, I'm only going to go to one decimal place. I click on next. And I can choose here if I want to display any of the other calculations and the raw times. I don't, so I'm just going to click on finish. Software is now ready to set up. So if I come up to the play button in the top left hand corner, we should be good to go. Now all that's left is for me to actually collect the data. So I get the double interrupt card and I drop it through the light gate, repeat it several times, and you'll notice on the computer screen it's collecting the data for me.